the ULI District Council Chair. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. It's uh, great to be here in this uh, beautiful space. If we can have your attention, please. It's been a great year for ULI Baltimore, and I welcome our members and uh, their guests that are here tonight. We've had uh, fabulous success with uh, several different uh, study areas this year. We've helped the city and ULI National with the study of the west side. We did a joint Baltimore City, Baltimore County, Bel Air Road study. We did a study of the Plan Maryland effort with the Maryland Department of Planning. That was a statewide effort. And it's been phenomenal, the response and the support that we've had. So, if I can get everybody's attention, please. Quiet, please. Thank you. It's great to be back for our third wave meeting. Our sponsors are critical to us, and I really appreciate everybody here that is a member of our sponsorship team. Please take a look at the, uh, the rolling sponsor list when we finish the program later on and, uh, and give these people some business. They're great companies. And I also want to thank all of our volunteers and our committee chairs, and in particular, my management team, which consists of Sean Kelly, Sean Davis with Morris Richard Associates, Kelly Cantley with Turner Construction, and the fabulous Pauline Harris with SPIN. Our uh, district council coordinator, thank you. We're fortunate to be in a city such as Baltimore that looks to ULI for its development expertise. And that comes from the top down in this city. And with that said, it is my honor, quiet please, it's my honor to introduce to you tonight the fabulous mayor of Baltimore City, celebrating a tremendous primary victory recently, the Honorable Stephanie Rollins Quake. That's what I was about to say. Thank you for that. Good evening, everyone. It is an honor to be here with you tonight. Last year, it was my pleasure to be here and join you to celebrate the legacy of one of Baltimore's living legends, John Paterakis, for his work to make Baltimore a more dynamic and thriving city. And tonight, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to congratulate, even though I can't see him in this light, barely. I can see your outline, Jay. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to congratulate my friend, my colleague, and former neighbor, uh, Jay Brody, for receiving the 2011 ULI Lifetime Achievement Award. In his career, Jay has worked to find ways to attract diverse businesses and revitalize neighborhoods throughout Baltimore. So on behalf of the people of Baltimore, I want to thank Jay Brody for his commitment to our great city. Tonight, we are celebrating ideas to shape tomorrow's horizon. And as we look back at the people who helped make changes to our skyline, we must ask ourselves, in the words of Mayor Schaefer, what's next? This summer, our city, our city shined at the inaugural Baltimore Grand Prix. People from all over the world came to Baltimore to see this exciting international sporting event. The race showcased one of Baltimore's greatest assets, our inner harbor, highlighting, highlighting it in a way that some people thought was not possible. We proved the naysayers wrong, and we will continue to do so for years to come. But we cannot be a successful city if we are not creating an opportunity for neighborhoods to grow, to create jobs, as well as attract new residents. And the way we do that is twofold. From City Hall, despite two years of historic budget deficits, we remain focused on moving forward my vision of a better, safer, and stronger Baltimore. But also, my administration has made it clear that we will work with anyone who wants to create jobs and strengthen our neighborhoods. 
And we're making progress in Tide Point, in Howard Park, and in our historic West Side. But still, I have to ask myself and my cabinet, what's next? Knowing our history, especially the work of the great individuals and firms that are being honored here tonight, I believe what's next can be spectacular. Again, congratulations to all of the honorees. Thank you, uh, particularly the ones for being honored locally, and I mean, not locally, but in Baltimore City. I want to thank you for your commitment to helping us uh, make Baltimore a more vibrant city. I look forward to working with you and finding ways to make Baltimore better safer and stronger as we are determined to grow Baltimore. Thank you very much and good night. What's up with you, y'all? How you been?